Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness and we are here with part five of the 29 pound box, which I think never is gonna end. There is There has been the plethora of beautiful things in this box. It's unbelievable how many glass pieces we found in the box, unusual pieces. This has got to be one of my favorites. I'll show it again with these different, different beads. I love this thing. All right, so we're just going to get rolling, and hopefully we can we can make some good progress on part five. And I've got my daughter Lauren behind the scenes with us today again. Okay, so this is a fashion silver tone, very lightweight. That'd be nice to wear out. Okay, well this is. A lightweight silver pendant and these are glass beads beautiful color opaque glass beads so I think that would be definitely something okay this is one of those adjustable stretch bracelets okay so Lauren washed them so <laughs> I'm gonna be brave I'm gonna put these in my mouth that's not scary at all right all right here we go Oh, these are definitely real pearls. They are broke, all individually a little different. I really like that bracelet. It's got silk cord. That's really nice. We're going to hang on to that. Okay, let's see. Now I'm moving stuff around. Uh, this has got that vintage feel to it. And these are these pieces too. These are glass. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy piece right here. Look at the shine and the sparkle we've got going on here. That is certainly a uh, nice heavy piece. All right, and this guy is cut glass, nice faceted beads, and some rhinestones. He's got a lot of nice weight to him. A lot of sparkle. Uh, lightweight plastic. The sailor theme. We've definitely had a few anchors. We've had um, definitely some nautical looking pieces in this group. These are those heavier, heavier beads. Lots of rhinestone. Fortunately, this cord is kind of, it's kind of filthy. I'll see if I can't soak it, maybe do some cleaning on it. I'm not real sure what this is. This could just be beads. This has no clasp and it's too big for a bracelet. If that were an anklet, I think it would fall off also. But since there's no clasp on this, I think these are just for beads. Since we have definitely found crafting pieces in here, since it was built that way. Oh, let me do this one first. This is one of those lariats. This has a nice little black and silver piece with some rhinestones at the end. Call it a bola or a lariat. Yeah, on a feels like a suede cord. Okay. This is an extremely heavy necklace. Look at how big this is. I'm starting tangles again. <laughs> nice, nice, shiny. It's got great weight. Nice big clasp. This is definitely quite a piece. And if you have been with us from the beginning of this box, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, we have found the gamut of beads, jewelry. We have a lot of threes. Uh, definitely a lot of threes in types of bracelets we found. Definitely in earrings. I can't tell you how many pairs and then one single. Uh, that matches the other two. So I think, I still think something happened with the store, a store closed, or someone was an avid collector for maybe multiple kids. I'm not sure what, but we have a ton of 
threes. And you'll see in the video, we'll, we'll find an earring and then later on we'll find a pair. So these are darling little rhinestone hearts and a very lightweight pearl and chain necklace. Small, very dainty, very pretty. I could see why it was in a bag. And tons of stuff in bags. Miscellaneous in bags, individual jewelry in bags. It's uh, like here's another one. We found money, screws, lots of just miscellaneous, um, you know, like on the bottom of a junk drawer. So it looks like someone definitely, uh, definitely seems my word today, certainly <laughs> dumped a junk drawer. Okay, these are cute earrings, and they're marked. Avon. Those are adorable. Washington. Avon. I didn't know Avon made little pins. Oh! Reindeer. And Santa. I gotta say, this is probably Avon also. Avon. Cute. Longer chain. Avon. I'm sure he's missing his pendant. He's Avon too. And we want to take a stab and say this is Avon. Oh, this is Avon. Very lightweight ring, but older. The silver's coming off. You can see the copper through it. So older. I'm wonder, wondering how old this little group is here. Definitely, definitely. That's going to be my word of this segment, I think. All right, beautiful. And we will take a look and see if we can't date all of those goodies. I'm going to put them over there. Long. Okay, it's got like this on the end here. I think these were craft beads. But you could use it as a necklace. Very lightweight though. Stretchy plastic beads. It looks like Chinese characters on it. Okay. We had... Uh, the, I know we had this necklace. So we'll see if we can't pair those two together. These are interesting shells. Looks like pieces of shell. Like the sound. I am fumble fingers. An American Eagle. I'm not sure if it's just supposed to be a choker or if it had a pendant, but right now it's just a choker. These are lightweight seed beads that are woven together in little shapes of flowers. And we have some inexpensive beads. And then we have this really pretty rose and rhinestone pendant. I really, if nothing else, I take this off. Enjoy that piece immensely. Nice long. It, oh. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm gonna say this goes behind your neck. There's no clasp, so it's nice long plastic, pink and purple, great colors together, and clear. Ooh, you know what? This is heavy. This goes with, you know, this kind, you know, this nice, heavy fashion. This is beyond heavy fashion piece. These are big. It's got a great feel. There doesn't look like there's a mark at all, but it has that Monet feel, that nice, heavy, 
silky feel. So does this one. Could both be stainless. They have great. Okay, here's a. He came off of that little, little tiny earring. Put him over. Maybe we'll find somebody. Uh, I don't think that's a mark. I think that's just a scratch. Let's see. No, just a scratch. These are a little bit of glass beads. These feel either really plastic or rubber. Okay, there's that. Um, Zad? Z-A-D. Never heard of that. Look like brass pieces. They've got movement. Also an interesting piece. It's what I love about these boxes, especially from different parts of the country. You, know, you may see something that you know you will never see at a store that's near you. These are both. They look like grom, like um, washers that have some sort of paint on them. Kind of feel like this was maybe a homemade project on a cord. Okay, don't see a maker. These are. I don't think these are shell. I think these are all plastic with silver tone and little plastic beads. Nice movement. A plethora of little inexpensive bracelets. What does it say? Come, come alive, Zumba. Okay. These are heavier than I thought they were going to be. I think these may be dyed carved shell. Those feel like stone and that certainly could be a coral. Looks like a, an older uh, cord. It's a little older aged lobster claw. That is so unique. Very spring. Oh, it looks like maybe a piece missing. It's like a little carved wooden pendant, little cheap cord. Love bags. These are cute little earrings. And they are they are marked. I thought that was kind of maybe scratch, but that's a mark. Turn it around, hold on. M period Sutton. M Sutton. Okay, well we will have to look up M Sutton. Okay, and this guy is a little choker. Little, little, this is for a tiny wrist. Little stretch bracelet with a little heart charm. Another choker. Chokers are not my favorite. I always feel like I'm suffocating. Same thing with turtlenecks. Can't handle that either. They are not my thing. So many women look fabulous in them. I, I wish I could pull it off. I, I just, I can't breathe. Drives me nuts. Okay, this is American Eagle. It's a leather choker. Looks like we have a young person's charm bracelet. 
It says Charm Me. And it has a little tiny robot. And like a little friend's cute. Okay, these remind me of the beads where you make them out of like pieces of magazine, newspaper, you roll them up. That's what these beads remind me. And here's another one. I'm sure these are commercial made, but that it has that rolled feel. Same thing. Here is another necklace. This one is older. I don't see a maker, but boy, does that have a great feel to it. Now this clasp is older. And look at this design. These almost look like flowers, like individual flowers. How, how fun. Really, really like that. And it's not too heavy. Here's another one of these. So now we have, all right, we have a set, a set of three of those. Here's a lightweight, another charm one. It says Dream, little kid's bracelet. Here's another choker. Feels like mm, velvet. Doesn't feel like suede. And here is another one of this style with the these beads. This one has a heart on it, a heart charm. But these are, no, but this makes at least four in that genre. Here is another of the shell inlaid bangles. We have seen our fair share of those. Oh, I love this. Big, big. Ooh. Nice, big locket. I think that, I think it's copper. Aged copper, bronzed copper, maybe called. Like that. Oh, this has a few little knots. Fashion silver tone. These look like marcasite, or at least have that look of marcasite. This is, these are glass, beautiful. Look at that, look at that neon blue, that is beautiful. These are like twisted metal. And then it has a tassel. That is interesting composition, but that blue, you can't beat that blue. That is fabulous, loving that. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I give this one to you. My poor little, poor little youngin. I always ask her to do this tangling business. This is a, a state charm bracelet. We have Nevada, Oregon, California, Idaho. Cute little charm bracelet. Okay, this is stretchy. This has buttons and some stone beads, some plastic beads. That's glass. A, a, a dice. Interesting. Thank you, honey. That's got a lot of jingle and a lot of movement. Interesting piece. Lightweight, that'd be great. Little kids stretchy bracelet. The infinity. Looks like one of those adjustable bracelets. Here is another one of those heavier duty gold tone. This one's a obviously a bracelet. Nice. We've, we've had a whole plethora of those. Here's another charm bracelet. What is this? What are these? Oh, they're sandals. They're shoes. 
Look at this. This is a little green wedge. And then we've got, oh, that is, that is a little high heel. Oh my. And you've got a little orange flat. You gotta be kidding me, these are adorable. You have a little flip flop with blue rhinestones. You have another, oh, I'm digging these shoes, these pink shoes, these heels. Look at those. There's no, no mark. Nobody's claiming this. That, that is adorable. And they're heavy. Those are heavy charms. I oh, love that. Loving that. All right, another. Another baggie. This is a bracelet. That's beautiful. It is marked. Hold on. I love the phone. We love things in bags, especially in this box. Let me turn it around. I can't read that. My goodness, I have to get my bigger loop. Oh, this is Swarovski. Wow. Okay, this has got a great feel. It's got faux pearls. Of course, it has their crystals. Nice. Putting that right back in this little bag. We'll have to take a look and see what kind of values those have. There's another one. Okay, these just look like chains. Let us look. This would be tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, everything I have today is backwards. What's going on? I need all the help I can get today. I'm not having a good... Accents by Hallmark. I didn't know Hallmark made jewelry. Okay, well, here's a... There's no pendant, but this is the necklace. Okay. And these are Hallmark. Let us see. Oh, this is a definitely... Definitely. What is with me definitely today? This is a much older lobster claw. Not seeing a name. This has that great feel like a Monet has. So I don't know. Put that back in there. Okay, this has. Okay, this is Hallmark again. So maybe these didn't have pendants. Maybe these just were chains. That's a great looking chain. Okay. And what is this one? Oh, is that tiny? Look how, that is tiny. Look how little that is. And I bet that says Hallmark too. Let's see. Yes, accents by Hallmark. So no pendants, just three chains and a no-name chain. So, hey, I'm going to keep these together. I will take a look at that. Like organza. Okay, well, right off the bat, somebody was trying to sell this for $95. Bay 230. What if this was in a. You know, I wonder if this was part of like someone's antique lot, antique store. Like I said, we have a lot of. We have pairs. We have a lot of threes. That is beautiful. Look at this. These are heavy, heavy, heavy rhinestone pieces. These look like black glass. Look at those. Oh, there's a name behind this tag. Hold on. Who is it? Who is this? Let's find out. I could see. Pookie? P-O-C-C? -C. No, they, I think those... That could be G's. P-O-G-G-I? Pooji? Pookie? From Paris. Hmm. Okay, well, if this is Paris, this is could be why somebody wanted $95 for this. Okay, this is going to go in our... Going to look at... As soon as we're done on camera. Going right back in this organza bag. Nice. Ready? All right, guys, that is the end. It was a nice to end on this. That was 
Oh, that was a nice find. We will certainly have to look it up since I don't know the name. So we will give you an update. How about on the next one? We'll update you on what we found for this if we can find anything since it's from Paris. That's really cool. This 29 pound box was worth it. It was worth every bit of the gunkiness and the tangles and all of the fun that went with it. We appreciate you sticking with us, joining us on our treasure hunting journey. We do have a few more boxes coming. They're much smaller, so we should be able to get through them a lot faster. And, you know, can't wait to see what, what's around the corner. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate your time. And we'll see you next time around.